Hello again, this is Madan. This demo is the continuation of our previous demo on implementing notification feature in our MEC demo application. So in this demo, we will continue the implementation of our notification feature. So before we go ahead, we need to take care of a couple of things. So let's jump back to the code and in the startup.cs file, we need to register our newly created repository. Um, and uh, the corresponding interface so let's do that services the a transient and uh, we created i notification repository and we're going to match this with notification repository notification repository and the one thing that i did off the screen is i generated the migration and update that migration against the database because since we when we last time created or added the two db search notification and notification application user we didn't run the migration so i just opened the terminal and i just added the migration and run the migration against the database so make sure you generated the generate and update the migration if you are following uh, along otherwise uh, it won't work so in this demo we are going to first create the notification so when the user change update the status of their pet from selling to not selling or from not selling to selling then we are going to give notification to the user so this is the place we are creating the notification so before creating the notification we need to inject the notification repository in our controller so let's do that i notification repository notification repository and let's create a private variable here private i notification repository notification repository with the prefix underscore and then let's save our notification repository in our private field notification repository now we can use our notification repository to create the notification so when the user update the status of their pet then we are gonna send notification to the user so now in order to send the notification we first need to create the notification so let's create the notification notification equal to new notification new notification and the thing that we need to pass to our notification is the text of the notification since the is read is false by default and uh, only the thing that we need to pass is the text the message of the notification so here we are going to pass the text of the notification equal to some text and the user let's say username has let's say username is selling or not selling their fit so let's say this is the format of our message and we are going to replace this with the username and selling or not selling we are going to replace this by the variable so let's bring in the username first variable username equal to this username equal to we have a user manager third get username and we can pass http context the context that user so the username would be the name of the user who is uh, creating the notification or the name of the user who is changing the status of their pet so this username is replaced by this username and now we need to create the another variable so let's do let's create another variable variable status status equal to let's make it empty and then pet that it's showing if it is true then let's say status let's just write a conditional statement if pet that is selling then we will have the status equal to selling else status equal to not selling
and uh, we're gonna use the status here so once you clear the notification now we can use the notification repository and we can clear the notification and here we need to pass the notification and the id of the pet and uh, we can get the id of the pet from this pet object so we have a pet dot id so this clears our notification and uh, we have come to the end of this demo and in another demo we will create the notification controller and the, uh, we will pass the notification to the view so this is the end of the demo thanks for watching have a good day